hello guys welcome back to my channel my name is Patricia for those who don't know me on today's video I will be doing a live demo and also I will be giving you my honest opinion on the I love Sarai and those of colors collection I am so excited I was eagerly waiting for this package and I finally got it so today I decided that I was gonna make a video and create this look if you're new to this channel make sure you go ahead and subscribe and also if you like this video at the end make sure that you give it a thumbs up if you are interested in knowing what I think about this collection and how I achieved this look then keep on watching so let's start off by talking about the eyeshadow palette this eyeshadow palette right here retails for $35 it has the I Love Sarai signature and also the Dose of Colors logo. In the back, you have the names of all of the shades and, you know, all of the ingredients. Inside of the palette, you have six shades. Two of them are matte and four of them are shimmery. And also you get a mirror, which is amazing for traveling or even when you are applying your eye makeup, it is always good to have a mirror really close to you. So you, you know, you see all the details on your eyes, of course. Next is the highlighter. The one that I picked was Soul Mate. Soul means sun in Spanish. It's a beautiful golden highlighter beautiful beautiful you also get a mirror as well which is great so now let's talk about the lipsticks in her line she has four liquid lipsticks and two lip glosses i got three out of the four liquid lipsticks i got fresa i got aesthetic and also i got nude chica look at the packaging it is so beautiful it has like a velvety feeling to it the only thing that I did not like about it is that you can't tell which shade or what color it is because it, it's, it's just everything is one color but other than that it looks very girly very fancy very cute and for the lip glosses I got brillo and barely there the lip glosses cost $17 and the liquid lipsticks cost $18. Now that you know what I got from those of colors and the I Love Sarai collection, if you are interested in seeing how I achieved this look, then keep on watching. I did my foundation and everything else off camera so that we can only concentrate on the collection. So I'm going to start off with the eyeshadows what i like to do before applying any eyeshadow i like to prep my eyes with a concealer today i'm going to be using the makeup revolution concealer in c11 on my eyelids just so that i can cover all of the imperfections this brush is from real techniques it came in a pack uh, i got it in tj maxx most of my Real Technique brushes, I get them at TJ Maxx or Marshalls on sale. I'm going to grab the lightest color right here uh, to, to set my concealer that I apply on my eyelid. Alright, now that we set that concealer, we're going to go ahead and jump into this eyeshadow palette. I cannot wait to use it. I'm going to apply Finder's Keeper color I'm gonna dip into it and doing circular motions I'm gonna go inward so as you guys can see this is blending pretty good this, I'm going to grab the burnt orange right here that one right there deepen up the crease a little bit more so that I can have more definition 
and it's blending out so good and easy I'm amazed there's definitely no fallout I don't see any fallout so that's great because usually I do my eyeshadow before I do anything else so I wanted to try it differently today to see how it would go and it's going very good this is definitely a color that I will use every day if I decided to wear eyeshadow every day which is not the case but if I was I'm gonna go back to the peachy color again to blend out on top of my crease I'm going to cut my crease a little, just not too much, just enough for it to look as clean as possible. I'm using a real Technique flat brush, but this is like a mini flat brush. Cut crease does not need to look completely perfect. They don't need to look like twins. They can look like fraternal sisters. Because regardless, we're going to blend it out later with the other two shades that we use first. I just want to clean it up a little bit so that the blue can pop out. I mean, the blue's going to pop out anyways, regardless of what I do, but... You know what I mean. So now we're gonna jump in to my favorite part, the one that I've been waiting for the longest, which is using the blue teal shimmery color. My finger in there. It feels very buttery. Look at this. Look how beautiful that teal looks. It this this is like the perfect shade for the freaking summer. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply it. Wow, this is pretty intense. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna need a brush because my fingers are a little bit too big. I'm gonna make a mess. So I'm gonna use a flat brush from Morphe right here. And I'm just gonna dip it as it. I didn't even have to wet the brush. I am going to grab the burnt orange shade right here and apply it on the outer corners of my crease just to blend it out a little bit more. Next, I'm going to use the Poquito Mas shade to apply it under my eyes. Alright guys, so I'm back with my lashes on, my mascara on, and now we are going to use the shade Wanderlust right here. Alright, moving on with the highlighter. The one that I'm going to be using is the Soul Mate. This is a beautiful golden highlighter. Wow. Look at that, guys. Look at that. I'm just glowing for the gods. Oh my goodness. This is amazing. All right, guys, so now I am going to be using the liquid lipstick called Aesthetic. And this is the packaging. Wow. 
I'm loving this color. So this is the final look using the I Love Sarai and Those of Colors collection. I am going to give you my last opinion on the products. So we are going to start off with the eyeshadows. The eyeshadows are absolutely great. I am very pleased with the pigmentation. Also, it blended out beautifully. There's so many options here for you to create so many looks. This, this is perfect for the summer, perfect for the fall, even for the winter. You have this shade right here, loungy. You can use this for New Year's. It's, it's amazing, or, or a night out. You can definitely play around with this palette and do so many looks. I am in love. I am so happy that I decided to buy this palette. No complaints at all. Next, the highlighter. The Soulmate highlighter is so nice and on the skin, especially on my skin tone. I thought it was going to be too um, ashy on me, but it wasn't. It's perfect for me. I love it. Also, I love the liquid lipstick. The formula does not feel drying. It applied beautifully. I am very happy with the results and how these products performed on me. This concludes today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope you found this video helpful in any way. I will see you on the next one. Bye!